is what the front of the house looks like and then the unit is too. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Rochelin video. Today we're doing house hunting again, the usual, and I'm taking you guys on the journey with me. I know a lot of you are looking for houses for rent and for sale. I see all your messages, all your emails, the whole work. So I'm here to help you out and I hope that you're able to find a place from one of these properties that I'll be showing today. There's a slight change in how I'm going to operate moving forward. Usually I tell you to send me an email and I'll respond to you with the information, but for for today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the house number and the contact details in the description bar below to make it easier for you guys so I'm just gonna put house number one the number house number two the number so you would have to watch the video to see what house number one or house number two is so definitely check the description bar below this video to get the contact details and so no need to email me for that okay trying to make your life easier and my life easier Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for being here. Remember to like, leave your comments below, subscribe and share the video with your friends. Your support means the world to me and your support is what makes me keep going. Without your support, it you know, makes sense to do what I do. And I'm doing this for you guys. So help me to help you, all right? So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is the walkthrough now, so from outside to look at balcony, veranda area, living room, passage area, bedroom number one, continue the passage, bathroom, And bedroom number two. Need some tiling work. Um, the ceiling. Is this? Change the ceiling. Oh, okay. And the kitchen. This is the dining. Kitchen long. Yeah. But it will be ready by um, Wednesday. Okay. And is there a wash area? Here. Um, you can put the machine around inside here. Around here? Yeah. And one of those. Top that is the outside here. Mm -hmm. This is yours. Okay. Oh, no. This is the backyard outside. On the side of the house. Okay. So, how many different families are living here? Um, well, I think we're going to have a family over here. There's two. So, it's two units plus this? Make it three units. You're right. Okay. I'll have the one bedroom different. Oh, around here? Yeah. All right, let's look at this one. What's the cost for the one bedroom? 45. 45? Yeah. Okay. This is the kitchen. Okay. And this one is ready, right? Yeah, why this is here? By this evening, okay. All right. This is the bathroom. And this is the bedroom. Hello. Hi. Hiya. You hard at work? Yeah. <laughs> is the AC working? Yeah.
There's the one bedroom and the passage area here, the bathroom area here, and then the kitchen here. Okay, the one bedroom in it, not bad. And then this is the, the wash yeah. area for it. I'll go back inside. And the bathroom, and the, the, the bathroom, they put the washing machine in there. So. Okay, got the bathroom big, yeah. There are three water tanks and generator. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So back into the two bedroom unit through the back door. And this is the kitchen area. To the dining room area. Hello. Hello. Bathroom. And then to bedroom number. This is bedroom number one and the closet area. Bedroom number one and bed. And this is bedroom number two, but it needs it's not yet ready to be ready by Wednesday to just change out the ceilings so they have the things on the floor. We just viewed a two bedroom and a one bedroom unit here in. Havendale. Um, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom, kitchen, and a small dining area, washroom area, um, the living room, and then they have three water tanks, as I showed you, and a generator. Um, the price is $65,000, and I actually think it's quite reasonable um, for the area. And the fact that to get two bedroom for the 65 because a lot of the one bedrooms I've seen are 65 70 75 80 I mean the only drawback is that it's a house and you're in a yard so the ho it's a house that it's split up in four different sections so you're in a yard with persons but you can view it as it being like a complex but it's not a complex because it's a house so that's the drawback you know having everybody so close been in a house but the two bedroom for 65 I would say go for it if you can jump on it quickly jump on it what do you think yes I think it is reasonable the amount of bedrooms for that price yeah considering the area Havendale yeah man it's yeah can work and then there's also a one bedroom unit to the back that's forty five thousand dollars so it's one bedroom bathroom kitchen yeah, and it has its little wash area towards the back and then you'd put your washing machine in the bathroom for forty five thousand dollars again I think that's quite reasonable because you barely see anything for below fifty thousand dollars in Kingston so it may not be like your dream house or your dream place but it's somewhere for go and catch until you find the dream place you know it's so it's comfortable it have enough space it 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 clean so I would say 45 that good for Kingston Havendale if you can jump on it jump on it jump on it and then even if it is an interim place jump on it and keep looking but you know what honestly anyways we're on to the next place so you know the drill let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go so we enter and this is the dining area or living room area depending on what you would want to use it for then to the right over here is the kitchen area and see there is pipe and plugs that you can put a washing machine right there and you know the usual your stove and your fridge i guess your stove your fridge goes there and your stove goes there and then you put the washing machine here. 
right and then this area above can either be used for the dining or the living room so as you can see over there has an area over here as has an area so you decide if you want to use dining living or living and dining and then behind here over there is one of the bedrooms and this is the bedroom area and closet area closet space is a little small it's a little tight but doable if you do have a lot of things and then storage on top also over here is the second bedroom it's a little smaller than the first one we just saw and it also has closet area and storage up top going outside now it's a bathroom area here which has the standing tap shower toilet sink and that's pretty much it So this is the backyard. And then the common wash area. This is what the front of the house looks like and then the unit is towards the back so you go down that path and you go all the way around to the back it has a very nice palm tree in the front and it's a very good area so that unit just now two bedroom one bathroom living dining kitchen and yeah that was seventy thousand dollars it's right off content spring road so it's not a bad area it's a pretty decent area pretty decent community um, the outside of the house looks good the inside is, is clean it's not bad in terms of space and it's a, the floor plan is a little weird but it has a lot of room 70,000 so if you're interested then definitely check the description bar below for the information and now we're on to the next one so let's go let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> so living and dining room area, storage under the staircase. Kitchen towards the back. And then the bedrooms are up the stairs. So this is bedroom, this is bedroom number one and it has a closet, a walk-in closet and across the hallway is bedroom number two there's a storage area right at the entrance of bedroom number two. And bedroom number two has its own closet as well. And storage up top. And then there's a bathroom that is shared by both bedrooms which is in the middle right here hello <laughs> the standing shower pretty spacious and then you're looking 
downstairs. Alright, so the unit we just looked at, it's a two bedroom unit. It's on the third floor of the apartment building. It's two bedroom, one bathroom, living and dining in one and kitchen. And then there's a wash area downstairs. But of course you can put your washing machine in the apartment itself, right? I think it's a good price. It's $70,000. So it's good for the location and for the amount of space that's given. When compared to other units that I've seen that are way more expensive for way less. So I think that will go very, very quickly. So if you're interested in getting that, then definitely check the description bar for the contact number and get in contact with them as soon as possible. As soon as it's gone, I will remove the numbers and we'll go again cool so i just want to thank you guys for watching this is where i'm going to end today's video um i hope you found something you like and i wish you all the very best on your house hunting journey i'll be posting videos you know i post every week sometimes one sometimes twice sometimes three sometimes four times trying to ramp it up as best as i can while balancing you know other things that happen in my life thank you guys for your support um thank you for being here just remember to like the video if you like the video i know you like the video share it with your friends so they can join the family subscribe to the channel a lot of you are watching but are not yet subscribed so i definitely encourage you to subscribe and just let's grow together i'm so happy that you guys have been enjoying this series and the other series that are on my channel and there are many 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 more to come feel free to leave your suggestions of what videos you want to see in the comment section below and again i just want to thank you today is sunday so please enjoy the rest of your sunday if you're watching the video today if you're watching it on another day enjoy the rest of your week anyways guys goodbye and you guys will see me in tomorrow's video